back down to Earth. SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 yesterday and it was headed south, which is unusual. And some incredible shots were taken of it. Check these out. Yeah, baby. Max Q. And there we heard the call out for Max Q. We have now passed through the maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the largest structural load on the vehicle. And with that, we do have five events coming up back to back. Wow. They'll happen within seconds of each other. And it's these events like include the first stage uh, making its this? way back to landing zone one today. So we'll have Miko, main engine cutoff, stage separation, a flip of the first stage. Now that SES shot you'll see a lot. Is, or second stage engine Effect start teleport. one. And then followed immediately by the boost pack burn on the first stage. Again, that's five events the happening within seconds of each other. Almost out of the should atmosphere. get some good views of these happening. Holy. Again, that is oh my Miko, God, I thought that was stage computer. separation. S1 How do they do that? Good call outs there. What? Stage one flip, SES1, and insane. the boost back burn coming up here in a few seconds. That shot is incredible. Are yes, it, it is incredible. Because it's flying <laughs> south, so it's being able to get tracked by the southern tracking station down there. Eco. Oh. Okay, the booster's cut off. Stage separation. Now that's going to come back to Earth. I've never seen this live. Look at that. Now those are gas jets, air. Stage one, boost oh, it turns up. around, and then it's gonna fire up its rocket. That's you saw it take off right there. Shot. And some incredible and fly back views to land. from the ground cameras. We actually got to visually see. So the shot on the left is that booster, and after it flipped around, it's actually firing the opposite direction. It's pulling away from the shot on the right where the second stage is burning. So that's going one way. This the one on the right, and then the one on the left, the big booster's turned around, and now it's shooting its rocket off and going back to where it came from. Miko stage separation. There, in the background, you can see the second stage as it's take going away. And see the first stage flip on your screen. Yeah. That was incredible to see. Now what you're seeing on your screen on the left-hand side is the first stage uh, currently in its boost back burn. That is the first of three burns to make its way back to land. Oh. And on your right-hand screen, we do have the second stage engine lit up. And so far looking really good on nominal trajectory. This is so cool. That's oh my God, there it is again. Incredible. Now that's, that's the, the first stage. That's the tracking shot. That's amazing. I've never seen it before like that. You're right, Tim. Stage one, boost back, shut down. And we are that call out that the boost back burn has ended. Hope now in a few a... seconds here we should see the fairing halves on the second stage. Now the burn is stopped when you're seeing those gas, those are gas jets, not only gasoline, um, but some sort of gas, pressurized gas that they use to control it. ...being deployed. Got some awesome views here. The left hand screen is showing the first stage with the grid fins deploying on your screen. Bearing separation confirmed. Oh, here we go, the satellite. Tracking camera, that'd be really Boom. Cool. We heard that call out and visual confirmation on your right hand. Now those fairings that go around the nose cone, they actually recover those too in the ocean. The grid fins on the left, they use it to steer the rocket back to Earth so they don't have to use any propellant or anything. Green, that the fairing halves have deployed. They're now making their way back to Earth and we will attempt to recover them with our recovery vessel named Bob today. Incredible views today. Got some great ground wow. views of the vehicle as it is making its ascent. And we are T plus four minutes and 23 seconds into... By the way, on the left, the booster that's coming back to Earth, those grid fins, if the rocket was standing up on the launch pad, those fins are at the very top. So it is coming towards us. Those grid fins are at the back of it. And it's the end towards us that's got the landing legs, just to give you some perspective that it's coming right towards you. Today's mission, and we're currently in the first of two <coughs> planned MBAC burns for satellite deployment. At T plus six minutes and 11 seconds, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. Oh. That entry burn will be the second of three burns needed to make its way back to landing zone one today but for the entry burn we relight three of the nine m1d engines 
and that starts with the center E9 engine followed by the E1 and E5 engines. Now remember, those engines are on the opposite end, the ones closest to you you can't see. And again, the top of the booster is where the grid fins are. That helps to slow the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. And we need to slow the vehicle down to reduce... Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Great call-outs, everything's looking nominal. And for that entry burn, we do need to slow down the, the vehicle uh, to reduce the re-entry forces. Uh, that helps us to recover and reuse the first stage. You can see on your left-hand screen those grid fins that opened up. Those help to guide the vehicle back as it makes its way to its landing target. I'm sorry, I may have been completely reversed. Those grid fins are at the base where the motors are. And again, today we are attempting to land at landing zone one. This is back at land. We need three burns to get us there. We've already completed the boost back burn. And we're coming up on the entry burn here in just under 30 seconds. Still can't get over that tracking shot. Yeah, the tracking shot. We're Stage going two is still looking great. On your right hand screen is a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. Stage one, entry burn startup. Here we go. So it's slowing down so the atmosphere doesn't tear it apart. We heard the call out, and you can visually see on your screen that the entry burn has begun on the first stage. Again, this helps to slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. It's only about a 20-second burn. Stage one, entry burn shut down. And we heard that call out for entry Stage burn. Stage two FTS has saved. Heard the call out that the entry burn has completed and you can see that the engines have shut down on your left hand screen. That is two <coughs> of the three burns. The last burn will be the landing burn. You can see in the background Stage of your left. Stage one FTS has saved. <laughs> you can... Vehicles are oh, on the trajectories. There comes the land. Good call outs there. You can see the land. In the background view of the first stage as it's making its way back to landing zone one. Stage one, transonic. This is insane. Wow. Like when you're a Stage one, landing burn. Is that the vehicle assembly building, I think? Wow. And the landing burn, wow. Oh. Incredible oh my gosh. views of this landing burn of this first stage. Oh, Let's see I was if we right. can touch down <laughs> on landing zone one today. The waffle things are at the top. Oh, Holy cow. This infrared is awesome. Stage one landing like a pole. Look at that. Right down. Stage one. That's out of this world insane.